தமிழ்நாடு பிஜேபி ஸ்டேட் செக்ரட்டரி அஸ்வத்தாமன் மேட் அ சென்சேஷனல் கிளைம் ஹி செட் தட் காங்கிரஸ் இன் டுவெண்ட்டி தேர்ட்டின் பிராட் அ நியூ பில் அக்கார்டிங் டு தட் பில் இஃப் தெர் இஸ் அ வயலன்ஸ் இஃப் தெர் இஸ் அ ரயட் கம்யூனல் ரயட் எஃப்ஐஆர்ஸ் கேன் பி ஃபைல்ட் ஒன்லி எகேன்ஸ்ட் ஹிண்டூஸ் no fir can be filed against muslims or minorities even if there is a murder he made this claim in an interview and in several debates he has made the same claim again and again but is it true congress did they really bring out such a bill in this video we will find out this is u10 am ramasamy jay prakash bjp state secretary for tamil nadu Aswathaman he claims that the bill is called communal violence bill but the actual bill is called prevention of communal and targeted violence bill 2011 this bill was brought in 2005 initially after it was brought in 2005 as a draft sent to a standing committee the standing committee gave its report in 2006 and after that several attempts were made to pass this uh, bill to make it a law and none of these attempts materialized and it remained a bill it was then taken up by national advisory council and the national advisory council made several changes and provided a new draft in 2011 after it gave this new draft the old draft that was tabled in the parliament already that was taken back that was withdrawn from the parliament and this was tabled and once they tried to introduce this bill they it was met with fierce opposition so this bill was taken back without even uh, being introduced in uh, the parliament so this is the brief history of what happened to this bill it was not even uh, introduced and it was not enacted at all this is a brief history of this bill and what did this bill actually say did it give legal immunity to muslims and uh, religious minorities to muslims and christians basically did it give them a legal immunity in which even if they commit a crime no fir can be filed against them did it really say that the answer is no then what did it actually say and is this bill reserved only for uh, minorities that is christians and muslims the answer is no again because this bill is intended to give legal protection one extra layer of protection for four communities and these four communities are religious minority linguistic minority scheduled caste and scheduled tribe turning this bill as something that is only for the muslims or only for the minorities is that itself is wrong that itself is misleading and that itself is com- uh, coming with an insidious intent and that intent is to create a communal hatred against minorities because a bill that is not limited just to the religious minorities is taken and said as it is only for the religious minorities that itself should raise an alarm bell in your head the linguistic minority scheduled caste and scheduled tribes all these people are hindus so what this bill tries to do is in case of a communal violence and this communal violence can happen because of religion because of caste or because of language also so a communal violence can happen uh, due to any of these three reasons if it happens due to any of these three reasons the predominant victims in these cases of violence are the communities that are uh, termed as group as per this uh, bill these are the communities that are predominantly the victims in terms of a communal violence so to provide an extra layer of uh, security to these communities this bill was drafted okay did this bill give legal immunity to these uh, four categories the religious minority the linguistic minority scheduled caste and scheduled tribe if these f- people from these four communities if they commit a violence against those communities that are excluded from this list uh did it give legal immunity for them uh which means can no fir be filed if these four communities uh commit a violence no that is also not true for example uh they keep coming up with this example of muslim uh so we'll use the same example if a muslim commits a crime in a religious violence and a muslim kills a hindu man or he does uh, some kind of damage to a hindu man's property or he assaults a hindu man uh can no fir be filed against this muslim man no the answer is no fir can still be filed against this uh muslim man who commits this crime the only difference is 
the fir cannot be filed as per this law normal ipc uh, laws and normal other indian laws are applicable a section a relevant section from this uh, particular bill or this particular law if it has been enacted only that cannot be used apart from that all other cases can still be filed against this muslim guy and this is not just limited to muslims this is again i'm telling you this is lim- uh, this extends to uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe also and even also linguistic minorities they keep uh, trying to reduce this bill to only minorities and in- even in that minorities only to muslims but that is not the case let me give you one more example if a person is from a scheduled caste and scheduled cr- uh, tribe a crime is committed against uh, that person if i am the scheduled caste person and a crime is committed against me and i am uh, verbally abused and physically abused and uh, caste slurs and abusive uh, words are used against me i go to the police station and i give a complaint apart in addition to the sections that are used typically for these uh, kinds of actions for physical assault attempt to murder in uh, in addition to all these sections one extra section will be po- put up and that extra section will be based on the scst prevention of atrocities act because i am a person of a uh, scheduled caste or a scheduled tribe in that case if that is the case one extra section will be pro- uh, put in addition to the usual cases likewise if this bill was enacted after it is become a law if there is a communal violence and the victim happens to be a person of any of these categories in that case one extra section can be filed against the aggressor that is all when it comes to uh, the scst prevention of atrocities act people do people come and tell you that this scst prevention of atrocities act is only for the scsts and other communities are not at all involved if a person from other community is uh, being attacked by scst there is no way for uh, fars to be filed against uh, scsts scsts cannot even be booked and they cannot be brought to justice because of this law existing do any person come and argue like that because we all know this law will not be applicable all other indian laws will be applicable if the violence is committed by the scst person similarly uh, prevention of communal and targeted violence bill this will not be applicable in case the violence is committed by these four communities and all other relevant indian sections all other relevant indian laws are applicable against them if they commit a crime hiding all this and blanket statements such as no fir can be filed they cannot be even booked and there is no way for uh, giving justice all these are completely false and please do not believe them we can debate as to whether this is this law is actually uh, good whether this law will serve its purpose it wants to give one extra layer of security to these marginalized communities and uh, will this actually be able to solve that problem will this actually give protection to the communities uh, of uh, scst and linguistic minority and religious minority that is a debate is it good enough will it be uh, able to give speedy justice all that can be debated all that can be uh, discussed and even criticized but using this for putting a narrative that this is only for communal reasons this is only for minorities and that too religious minority and even in that only for muslims all that is done only with one intent and that one intent is to create and further the communal divide in this country and there is nothing more to it and apart from ashwathaman making this uh, false claims in tamil nadu this has been going on throughout india and many people have been using this particular bill to create this narrative at least in tamil nadu the claim is limited just to the filing of firs in other parts of india especially the northern part of india it has been spread with more vicious claims and these claims uh, they state that if a hindu woman is raped by a muslim man in that case no fir shall be filed in case a muslim woman is raped by a hindu man if such a scenario happens in that case the fir should be filed against the entire community of hindus 
all the hindu men should be booked this is the kind of claims that is going on in northern part of india in addition to this there is one more claim which states that if a, a minority person if a muslim man states uh, if, if he makes false allegations against hindu people in terms of a communal violence during a communal violence in that case the no fr shall, uh, shall be taken against the uh, muslim man if it is found out that a false complaint is being given but on the contrary if a hindu man gives a false complaint he should be booked these are the kinds of uh, false narratives and false claims that are made in other parts of india that's how bad the situation is please share this video to your friends and family and subscribe to our channel if you have not already subscribed thank you